St. Jude Thaddeus with the theme, The Youth as Co-Missionaries with St. Jude Thaddeus. In this concelebrated Pontifical Eucharistic celebration, the National Shrine of St. Jude Thaddeus is truly blessed and deeply honored to have His Eminence Luis Antonio G. Cardinal Tagle, D.D., Archbishop of Manila, as the main presider. The sponsor for the Mass is the Parish Pastoral Council of the National Shrine of St. Jude Thaddeus. The choir is the St. Jude Fiesta Choir. Please stand as we begin the Pontifical Fiesta Mass.
Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Father. The National Shrine of St. Eutadeus gives a heartfelt and hearty welcome to the main presider of our celebration for the fiesta of our beloved patron, St. Eutadeus, to His Eminence, Luis Antonio G. Cardinal Tagle, D.D., Archbishop of Manila. <laughs> And together with him, we also welcome our beloved Most Reverend Leopoldo Hausian, SVDDD, Bishop of Banged Apra. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Jude Tadeus, our patron. He is one of the apostles who preached in Palestine and Persia. He is especially invoked by those who are in despair. <laughs> or in helpless situations. Let us pray to St. Jude when we need help in imitating Christ. The apostles are our models of living a life of surrender to Christ. It is Christ himself who handpicked them and trained them. Our faith is apostolic missionary because we can trace it back to the faith of the apostles to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's pardon and forgiveness I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, grant graciously through the intercession of Saint Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. 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 Declare the glory of God And the firmament proclaims His handiwork Day pours out the word today And night to night imparts knowledge Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word, nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard. Sounds and to the ends of the world, their message. The message goes out through all the earth. The message goes out through all the earth. South through all the earth, their message goes south through all the earth. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray. And he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself. And from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called as he loved, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. The Cardinal blesses the community. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we praise and thank God who has gathered us as one community, as one family of faith on this beautiful celebration of the Feast of Saints Simon and Jude Thaddeus Apostles. We also thank God for the 65 years of service, of mission, of our parish, now National Shrine. We thank, in a special way, the Society of the Divine Word. Their members, their priests, their brothers have served not only the local community, not only the Filipino-Chinese community, but the many, many pilgrims who come here Hirap na hirap akong dumaan dyan kapag Webes na po. Hindi dahil sa Malacanang, kundi dahil kay St. Jude na po. Pero ngayon kahit hindi Webes, nagdadagsaan tayo. Kayong mga nasa taas, mukha kayong mga anghel na ha. Naniwala naman kayo 
Kung mukha kayong anghel dyan, kumanta kayo, ha? Uh, the choirs of angels, ha? Yan. Kung hindi, bumaba na kayo. At yung mga nasa labas po, hindi kayo nasa labas. Kasama po kayo ng sambayanan sa ating pagdiriwang. Uh, our celebration focuses on the youth because this year is the year of the youth according to the CBCP. And we are blessed to have the chair of the uh, Commission on Youth, our very own former parish priest, former provincial, no, si Bishop Paul Hausha, na po, uh, SVD, no, now Bishop of Abra. So he represents all the young people in the Philippines no, in this celebration. And it, uh, it uh, comes as no surprise that the, the theme chosen for this uh, uh, foundation anniversary and the Feast of St. Jude is the youth as co-missionaries with St. Jude Tadeus. Ang mga kabataan, mga kapwa misyonero, kapwa apostol, kasama ni San Judas Tadeo. But before going to the theme, I asked myself, and it led me to uh, search for some answers. Why is St. Jude uh, associated with impossible or desperate cases, situations? Bakit si San Judas Tadeo ay kaugnay, iniuugnay sa mga sitwasyon na ikaw ay parang desperado or halos imposible. Kaya kapag malapit na ang mga bar exam, pag malapit na ang mga board exam, pag marapit na ang mga, ang mga, ang tawag dito, yung uh, entrance exam, Kapag malapit na ang tuition, pagbabayad ng tuition, no? talagang makikita mo yung parang imposibling sitwasyon at yung iba na dedesperado. O kaya kapag malapit na ang valentine at wala ka pa valentine, no? ang daming nagdadasal dito. Misan, 80 anyos na. Uh, hindi pa rin nawawala ng pag-asa. Saying, Jude, give me a lover. <laughs> Ewan ko nga kung bakit, pero ang nakuha kong sagot ay ito. Sabi, baka raw itong prayer to Saint Jude. Now, when we find ourselves in desperate or impossible situations, originated from a confusion. Baka nagmula raw sa isang pagkakamali. Kasi doon sa binasa nating Ebanghelyo kay San Lucas, magkadikit si Judas Tadeo, kapatid di Santiago, at ang huli, si Judas Iskariote na nagtaksil. Di ba si Judas Iskariote ang nadesperado? Siya raw ang nadesperado. E dahil magkalapit yung pangalan, yung isang Judas ang nilalapitan ngayon ng mga nadedesperado. Ewan ko kung tama yun, ho? pero sa isang banda, maganda. No, ho? The name of Judas, the name Judas, 
was in a way redeemed by Thaddeus. Instead of Judas Iscariot, the desperate one, out of despair, killed himself. You have another Judas whom you can turn to for prayer when you are in difficult situation. Siguraduhin nyo lamang na nasa tamang hudas ang inyong panalangin. Kasi baka pati ang panalangin ay maging confusion, ha? maging confused. Katulad po yung, yung istatwa ni San Roque. Alam nyo ba si San Roque? Di ba? May istatwa siya. Ano yung katabi niya? Ah, kapag piyesta ni San Roque, napapansin ko yung mga nagdadasal. Habang nagdadasal kay San Roque, yung aso ang hinahawakan. <laughs> Uh, ewan ko kung ano magagawa ng aso. <laughs> uh, kaya, ha? Pero kung totoo man yun, napakaganda. And come to think of it, every day of our lives, we are in impossible situations. We don't notice it. But every day, every moment, it is not possible for us to make life happen. It is impossible for us to make the sun rise. It is impossible for us to make the flowers bloom. It is impossible for us to make people love. It is impossible for us to change the will, the ill will of others. Every day, we are confronted with impossibility. And it is good to know that we have a God for whom nothing is impossible. For human beings, it may be impossible, especially for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. But with God, nothing is impossible. So having someone like St. Jude Thaddeus reminds us not so much of St. Jude, but of a God for whom everything is possible. At ngayon po, year of the youth. The youth as co-missionaries. Is that possible or impossible? <laughs> Sabi kanina ng iba, possible. Yung iba, <laughs> ay, ay, ayaw sabihin <laughs> kung ano nga ba, possible ba o impossible. But with God and with St. Jude and the other apostles, it is possible. But let us acquire the right uh, understanding. In the first reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, we are told that as a Christian community, as a living community, as the body of Christ animated by the Holy Spirit, we continue to grow. The church grows. Ang, ang building nagawa sa bato, simento at bakal, nakaplasta na yan na ganyan eh. Pero ang sambayanan, lumalago. Pero maaari ring manghina at mamatay. Kung ang sambayanan pwedeng lumago, pwede rin itong mamatay. 
Meron nga akong pinuntahan na isang shrine sa Northern Italy. Pinuntahan ko kasi ang daming santo raw na nagdasal doon at nagkaroon ng religious experience. Pagdating ko, ang simbahan pala ay pag-aari na ng gobyerno. Ang nagpapatakbo ay ang Department of Tourism. Kaya magbabayad ka kung gusto mong pumasok. Nagpakilala ako, ubispo po ako galing sa Pilipinas. Tuwang-tuwa yung nagtitinda ng tiket lumabas. Be, wow, ano, malaking karangalan na may bisita kami from the Philippines. Niya, sabi niya, bibigyan ko kayo ng discount. <laughs> Pinagbayad pa rin ako. Pagpasok ko, ang laki-laking simbahan, yung guide, ano ang pinaliwanag sa akin? Saan daw galing yung marmol, yung, yung Sicilia, anong klaseng kahoy? Hinihintay ko, banggitin yung mga santo na dahilan bakit ako pumunta doon. Wala. Ang paliwanag tungkol sa building. Lilima na lang ang upuan. Sabi ko, bakit lima lang? Eyan lang naman po ang napupuno paglinggo. Posible na yung sinasabi ni San Pablo, ang simbahan lumalago. Kung lumalago, kapag hindi nag-ingat, maaari ring mamatay. Pero papaano patuloy na lalago? Sabi po dito, through Jesus, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. It is through Jesus. Not through our strategies alone. Not through our programs alone. Not through our plans and ideas alone, no matter how important they may be. But St. Paul reminds us, the growth happens only through Jesus. And in Jesus, you are also built together into a dwelling place. But the foundation, the foundation is that of the apostles. And the capstone is Jesus Christ. Lalago lamang ang sambayanan kay Heso Kristo at ang pundasyon na walang iba kundi ang mga apostoles. Kapag lumayo tayo sa mga apostoles, Walang pundasyon ang tinatayo ni Jesus. How? How did the, uh, the apostles become the foundation of the living church? Dun po sa gospel, simpleng simple. Tinawag ni Jesus ang mga disipulo. At mula sa disipulo, pumili siya ng labindalawa na tinawag niyang apostoles. Kaya pundasyon ang mga apostoles ay dahil sila yung nakapiling ni Jesus. Sila yung nakasama ni Jesus. Sila yung naging kaibigan ni Jesus. Sila yung napagalitan ni Jesus. Sila yung nakaintindi kay Jesus. Sila rin yung hindi nakaintindi kay Jesus. Pero kasama nila si Jesus. Dahil tinawag sila ni Jesus. At mula sa mga disipulo, students of Christ, pumili siya nang magiging apostoles. Apostol, ibig sabihin, isusugo, ipapadala para maging saksi 
kay Jesus. Yan ang mission ng mga apostoles. To witness to Christ. Ipakilala sa mundo sino si Jesus. Pero si Jesus na nakasama nila, nakita nila, narinig nila, nahawakan nila. Kaya sila may karapatan na sumaksi ay dahil nakasama nila si Jesus. At kahit saan, kahit kailan, ang simbahan lalago through Christ, pero kailangan makinig tayo sa pagsaksi ng mga apostoles. Sabi nga ng isang theologian, iisa lang ang Kristo, Jesus. Yung Kristo Jesus na ipinakilala ng mga apostoles. Kasi sila ang nakasama niya. Kaya sinasabi natin yan sa creed. We believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. Kung wala ang pagsaksi ng mga apostoles, wala tayong alam tungkol kay Jesus na ating pananampalatayanan. Mahalaga yung disciple, kaibigan ni Jesus. Pero pag nakilala mo si Jesus, be an apostle, a missionary, witness to Him. Ang ganda nga nung unang sulat ni San Juan, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have heard with our ears, and touched with our hands regarding the word of life, we in turn share with you. Yan ang missioner, taga-saksi sa pinakamagandang balita, si Jesus. The youth. Si, teka, sino sa, sa atin dito ang tunay na youth? Yung tunay, ho, pakitaas ang kamay. The true youth. Yung ma... Huwag kayong mahiya. Yan. Yan. Oh. Pati nga ako, nakataas ang kamay ko. <laughs> Pero hindi na ako youth, ha? Yan, salamat. Salamat po. Kasi sabi nila sa survey dito sa Metropolitan Manila, almost 50% ng population dito ay 23 years old below. Napakabata ng Metro Manila. Kaya sana, bawat misa, 50% din, youth. Sana bawat activity, 50%. Kapag hindi, tatanungin mo, nasaan yung 50%? Saan sinusugo? Mga kabataan, expert naman kayo sa witnessing, evangelizing, sharing the good news. Di ba, pag nakita ninyo, may sale sa isang mall, good news, text ka kaagad eh. Balita ka kaagad sa mga kaibigan mo. Hindi ka makapigil habang nagsesermon, nagte-text ka nga eh. Oh, good news. Uy, kita tayo dyan. Oh, ngayon, piyesta ni St. Jude. Nakita mo yung crush mo. Wow, good news. Ibabalita mo na yan sa kaibigan mo. Nginitian ako, nginitian ako. <laughs> Sinagot na ni St. Jude ang aking despair. <laughs> Good news, oh. Eh, yan ang ibig sabihin na maging misyonero. Actually, the youth, you are experts 
in sharing good news. What you see, binabalita nyo agad eh. Yung narinig nyo, binabalita nyo agad. Yung naramdaman nyo, binabalita nyo agad. Yung kakainin ninyo, kinukunan nyo pa nga ng picture eh. Ipopost pa ninyo, balita agad. Experts kayo sa pagiging missionary. Siguro, with St. Jude, ang invitation sa inyo, share Jesus. Hindi naman masama i-share ninyo yung kakainin ninyo. Pero wag lang yun. Share din ninyo si Jesus. Hindi naman masama ipamalita ninyo kung merong sale, kung merong special offer. Pero sana, ibalita rin ninyo si Jesus. But how can we witness to Christ if we do not know Him? So like Jude, you are being called by name to be with Jesus. Learn from Him. Read His words in the Bible, in the Gospels. Talk with Him in the Blessed Sacrament. See Him in the poor, the lowly, the hungry, the thirsty, the naked, the persecuted and being familiar with Jesus share him as good news at ito hindi lamang sa kabataan kundi para sa ating lahat sabihin niyo ang hirap yan ang hirap yan ah uh, with us, it is impossible. But with God, nothing is impossible. God calls us. Let us listen and respond. And then God will send us the way he sent Simon and Jude Tadeus. Okay po. Pwede ko nang simulan ang homily. <laughs> ah, introduction pa lang ito. Eh kasi 65 years ng parish. So dapat 65 years, uh, 65 minutes ang uh, ang homily. Hindi, hindi ho. Mauubos na boses ko. <laughs> no. Uh, Pakiusap ko lang doon sa hindi na youth. Tatanungin ko, sino yung hindi na youth? O, oh, ayan. Dako, be honest, be honest. Yung iba sa inyo kanina, nagtaas na ng kamay. Ngayon, tataas ulit. Ha? Uh -huh. Alam niyo po, ah, uh, Siguro, uh, tayo po rin today, even if we are not youth anymore, we are still being invited by the Lord to be missionaries, witness to Christ, get to know Christ, His words, His teaching, and witness to Him. At huwag ikahihiya magbigay ng saksi kay Jesus. If not in words, sana sa ating pagkatao, sa ating pakikipag-ugnayan, sa ating uri ng buhay, 
sa ating ugali. Yung pagiging matapat, makatarungan, makatotohanan, sumasaksi na yan kay Jesus. At sana magtugma yung ating salita sa ating buhay. May kaibigan ako, pinakausapan ako, pwede bang kausapin mo yung anak ko na teenager kasi lumalayo na sa amin. Sabi niya, hindi ko alam kung ito ay dahil teenage confusion o may seryoso na nangyayari. Sabi ko, eh bakit ako? Sabi niya, eh ayaw makipag-usap sa amin eh, sa mga magulang. Baka makipag-usap sa ubispo. Eh kung sa iyong mga magulang natatakot, sa ubispo pa. <laughs> Pero dahil kaibigan ko, tinanggap ko, sige, kako. Naku po, nung dumating yung dalaga, dalagita, doon sa, sa pag-anuhan namin, meeting, nakita ko, sabi ko, wow, talagang postmodern girl. Yung kanyang hairstyle, parang may dalawang volcano. No, no, no. Na. <laughs> Laka, ano, no? <laughs> Iba-iba pang kulay ang buhok. yung combination ng kulay ng damit, nako, parang kakaiba. No, parang very loud. Tapos yung kanyang body language, kinocommunicate sa akin, hindi ako interesado makipag-usap sa iyo. Pero sinimulan ko, simple lang, ganyan-ganyan, no? sumisikat ang araw. Ganyan. And then, sinabi ko na, medyo... Disturbed ang parents mo. Hindi ka raw sumasama sa pagkain. Hindi ka raw sumasama kapag may outing kayo. E baka, meron ka bang dinaramdam? Ayan, hinarap ako ng bata. Be, ah, worried sila. Si daddy, sabi niya, pinagbabawalan na manigarilyo. Pero siya, chain smoker. Si mami, sabi sa akin, magtipid, magtipid. Pero siya, pag weekend, kung gumastos sa shopping. Tapos sabi niya, fake, fake sila. Tapos tinignan ako, lahat kayo fake. Pati ako napasama. Parang <laughs> nagalit na galit na ako pero sa loob-loob ko lang, hindi kita kilala ha. At uh, napipilitan din lang akong kausapin ka ha. Pero <laughs> hindi ko na sinabi yun. Nakinig lang ako, nakinig, nakinig. Habang nakikinig ako, sabi ko, itong batang ito ba ay kaaway? Hindi. Kaibigan natin. Anong hinahanap niya? naghahanap siya credible and authentic missionaries. Na ang salita at ang buhay magtutugma. Unfortunately, hindi raw niya makita sa kanyang magulang. The youth will be co-missionaries. if we elders also exercise our mission. Kaya tinawagan ko yung kaibigan ko. Kaya nakausap ko na yung anak mo. Biyok, ano? Kamusta? Okay siya? Kako, okay. Ikaw ang pumunta rito. Kako. Mukhang ikaw ang dapat kong kausapin. <laughs> And yan. We say, iba na ang youth. Bakit? Baka iba na rin. ang the youth. We want the youth to be co-missionaries, then we should take our mission seriously. Oh, ang hirap, ang hirap yan, impossible. We have St. Jude. And with God, everything is 
possible. Let us pause and commit ourselves to the mission entrusted to the apostles, especially for those who belong to this parish and shrine, a very missionary parish. Let the mission continue. Please stand. As parts of a building that has the apostles and the prophets as its foundation, let us bring our intercessions before the Father of mercies as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 请为我们的教宗主教 以及所有主教、神父、指示和教友祈祷，愿他们在圣神的指引下，把天主的福音广扬于世界所有民族、文化和国家。Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the officials and heads of government institutions through whom authority is administered and the laws are enacted, implemented, and interpreted, may the Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude guide them as they conduct themselves according to the rule of law, dictates of justice and mercy, and promotion of peace and national welfare in recognition of the rights and dignity of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude Thaddeus and St. Jude Catholic School on the occasion of the Feast of St. Simon the Zealot and St. Jude Thaddeus, May the shrine always serve as a pillar of inspiration and hope to parishioners and devotees to hearken to God's teachings, preserve the true faith, and bear witness to Christ's loving presence. Let us pray. Para sa mga deboto ng St. Jude the Deus, nawa ay maging huwaran sa kanila ang pagiging masigla at masigasig ni St. Simon the Zealot. At tularan nila ang pagiging maalalahanin at kababaang loob ni St. Jude the Deus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the youth who are beloved, gifted, and empowered by God's abiding love and gracious blessings, may they continue to be courageous co-missionaries with St. Jude Tadeus and spirit-filled evangelizers who possess Christ-like qualities in their journey of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions and the intentions for which this Mass is being offered.
Oh God, we thank you for the glorious company of the apostles, Saint Simon the Zealot and Saint Jude Thaddeus, that as they were faithful and zealous in their mission, may we share in the apostolic service of those who are called and chosen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles, Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominations, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit.
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring, spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and his assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Simon and Jude, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Saviors command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion shall be done row by row at the center aisle and also at the rightmost and leftmost aisles. The aisles in between shall be used as exit area after one receives the Holy Communion. For the orderly proceedings, we request all communicants to please observe the proper flow in receiving the Holy Communion as illustrated in the monitor. Thank you for your kind cooperation.
Please stand.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Gratitude is the memory of the heart. At this juncture, the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus expresses its profound gratitude to the following. Certificate of Appreciation to Mr. Harbinder Jerry Singh. In recognition, we request His Eminence, Cardinal Tagle, to uh, award. The, for Mr. Jerry Singh, it is uh, the Paris Council President who will receive in his behalf. In recognition of his generous and invaluable support, in the various major beautification projects of the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus. <clears throat> Certificate of Appreciation to Leonila Abanador Ilagan, or more popularly, Mother Lily. Sir Alfred Lau will accept the award in behalf of Mother Lily. For Mother Lily's indefatigable services rendered to our shrine and parish for more than four decades of service as lector and commentator, it is a debt which we are grateful to acknowledge and proud to proclaim. Certificate of Appreciation to St. Jude Catholic School. We ask the priest's team of St. Jude Catholic School who are here to please come forward and receive the plaque of appreciation for St. Jude Catholic School. For but its stead fast cooperation and collaboration with the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus. Father King Belamide is the current principal of St. Jude Catholic School. And last but not the least, St. Arnold Jansen Mission Award is conferred to attorney William Limcueco for his services rendered. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cardinal. At, uh, before the blessing of His Eminence, I would like once again to express our heartfelt gratitude to everyone. And in behalf of the entire National Shrine of St. Eutadeus and also the Society of the Divine Word, and in behalf of the priest team of the National Shrine and Parish, namely Father Anselmo Nicasio, SVD. Yeah. Father Antonio Wang, SVD, and Father Christopher Ramirez, SVD. With them, we thank once again our main presider and homilist, 
His Eminence, Luis Antonio Cardinal G. Tagle, Archbishop of Manila. Marami pong salamat. Ganon din po, once again, maraming salamat po to our beloved Bishop Paul Hausian, SVD, Bishop of Banget. To all our concelebrating priests, particularly our SVD conference, thank you very much. And, and, uh, kasama din po ang ating mga deacons, mga de magsitayo nga kayo mga deacons na nandyan, deacons, and also the religious who are here. I would like also to uh, thank the following the entire uh, Paris Pastoral Council, our Paris organizations and ministries, our St. Jude office staff. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Yes. Not to be forgotten, the Presidential Security Guard who uh, came yesterday and offered their PSG band and combo to liven our fiesta celebration. PSG. Kasama din po ang uh, Philippine National Police and MMDA na tumulong po sa atin. Not to be forgotten, ang ating mga barangay chairman and their council, mga kagawad, mga tanod, and all those barangay officials. Parami pong salamat. Sa ating pong napakagaling na choir and organist and director, altar servers, liturgies, marami pong salamat. Lalo na sa choir at taas. Ganun din po, allow me to uh, uh, mention that uh, the parents of our main celebrant, Cardinal Tagle, honored us with their presence. Sila po ay sina Manuel and Milagros Tagle. Magulang po ng ating... Thank you po. Salamat po sa pagdalaw dito sa National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus. Ganin din po si Justice Manahan of the Court of Appeals. Sandyan po kayo. Yeah. Uh, Vice Governor Dennis Socrates of Palawan. Thank you Dr. Perla Aldaba of PNP Academy. Dr. Yolanda Lira of the Napolcom. Yan po. At siyempre sa lahat po ng mga patuloy at hindi nawawalan ng pag-asa sa pagtawag sa ating mahal na patron, kayong pong lahat ng mga devotees Maraming maraming salamat po. Amen. Please stand. Sa ngalan Sa ngalan po ng buong Archdiocese of Manila, Pinaabot po namin sa inyong lahat kay Father Linus sa uh, SVDs ang pagbati ng isang mabiyaya, maligayang fiesta ni St. Jude at 65th founding anniversary ng parish at shrine. Congratulations po. Happy fiesta sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you 
through the glorious merits of the holy apostles Simon and Jude. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching, you possess firmness of faith. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace to serve the Lord with gladness. Thanks be to God.